When everything is set up correctly inside Entity Framework, this will be the syntax on how to fetch a many-to-many -many relationship from the database. It's very clean and very simple. So this is an example where we have a bunch of articles that have a lot of tags. And these tags can also be on many different articles. So that's why we have a many-to-many -many relationship. In this video, we're going to use a articles table that have an ID, a title, and a body text. And then we will have a text table, which also contains an ID and then a name and a description. And finally, we have the table where we connect the two tables in a many, many relationship, which will be our articles text table where we have our article ID and a tag ID. But actually this articles text table is going to be created from Entity Framework. So the only tables we have to create is the articles table and the text table. And then Entity Framework will automatically generate the articles text table when we set up the correct settings. So now I'm inside a ongoing project. This is actually just a Blazor server app, but it can also be a ASP.NET Core web app. It really doesn't matter because it's up to Entity Framework to do this. And as you can see here, I have a tag model where we have a key, which is the ID. We then have a name, a description, and at last we have this, which is the most important thing when creating a many-to-many -many relationship. It is this I collection where we're going to use the article model I also created. And this one will be called articles because this will contain all the articles that is connected to this tag. And if we go to the article model, it actually just looked like the same. We just used the tag instead of a article because now we're inside the articles model. So on this line, we're going to get all the tags that are connected to this article. But let's go to our DB context because it's actually there we're going to create our settings to say that this is a many to many relationship. In this project, it's called master context, but you don't have to worry about that. Maybe you want to call it DB context instead. But inside this master context, you can see I already have a weather forecast table. But what we want to do is to add the text and article table. So just like this, we have added the articles table and the text table. And if we scroll down a bit, you can see that we have the on configuration method right here, where we're going to set the database connection. And I just have a simply SQL Express setup. So it's just the MS SQL database I have on my computer in SSMS. If I just open it, you can see it right here. I have this database setup just with one table, which is the weather forecast you saw before. But the way we want to tell that this is a many to many relationship to entity framework is actually down here in the on model creating where we want to add this code. So we say to the model builder that this entity called article has many tags and it is with many articles. And this is the way we're going to tell that this should be the join table or the table that connects the two articles and text table. So by saying this, it will automatically create the article text table. So now we can go to the package manager console and add this as a migration. So we can make the changes to the database. I'll just call it add tables. And now when this build is succeeded, we get the, this migration file where we can see that it want to create a articles table for us and also a tag table. And at last it will create the article tag table because we're now told Entity Framework that it is going to be a many-to-many -many relationship. And as you can see down here, we also get a foreign key uh, for both IDs in the article tag. And we get a primary key also, which is the two IDs combined. So now we can go and say that we want to update the database. And now when that's done, let's go and check in the database. Let's go to the tables and update. And now you can see we have the article table, a tag table and the article tag table. So if we click it and say edit top 200 rows, we can see that it's empty and I'll just fill in some dummy text with the articles, the tags and link some of the tags and articles together. And I'll just do it manually. So you can see that when I've done it, 
the syntax that you saw in the beginning will fetch both the articles and the related tags. So now I just created some dummy text here. We have some articles. I just said one, two, three, four, five. I just messed it up with the IDs one, three, four, five, six, but that's okay. And then I inside the text table have made some tags one, two, three, four. And then inside our articles tag, I have specified which uh, articles that relates to the tags and vice versa. So let's go back to Visual Studio and let's just go to the index page, the front page. And because this is a Blazor server app, I will do it all on the index.razor page. If you're in a ASP.NET Core web app, you will just do this in the code behind, but you will also get the DB context another way than this. But if you have your DB context set up already, then it should not be a problem. But the way we can get the articles and the tags where we have a list of articles and then a collection of all the tags inside, we will actually just do this where I created a many to many variable and we're going to await this because it is to a list that is async. But what we want to do is to take the database context and say that we want to target the article table and then include the tags. So I'll just set a breakpoint and then we want to run the application to see what we get. And now let's hit F10 to see what it says. And if we hover over this many to many now, we can see that it has a count of five. So if we open it, we actually get all the articles. And inside the article, we can again see that we have some tags uh, and there's three tags in this article. So if I expand this and expand a tag, we can see that we actually get the tag name right here. So if we go a bit back, Let's try to watch this again. And you can see, we can also see the other tags. So tag one and tag two and so on. So that's a very easy and simple way to create a many to many relationship in entity framework. And of course, if you want to display this, you just have to for each it inside your HTML code right here. And when it comes to the tags inside the articles, you can also just for each them. So that's a pretty simple and clean way to make a many to many relationship. But if you like the video, please like and subscribe my channel and else I'll see you in the next video. Bye.